I think there are a lot of areas in which the two countries can work together and there's certainly a lot of areas from in which India can learn from Brazil. For example, in social policy, what Brazil has done with the question of poverty and inequality is something that India really needs to learn from because we in India, as we grow, are facing question, the same question of poverty, of inequality, and how do we target the groups in society that need to be lifted out of poverty. Your schemes, the Bolsa Familia, etc., these are things that India can learn from and I think if there's more dialogue between policymakers and academics and researchers between the two countries that's one way in which we can cooperate. Another way is for example in the maritime sphere. India is really trying to develop a much stronger maritime presence and there you know the IBSA uh, uh, joint uh, maritime exercises that happened in the last few years that's an area where I think much more can be done and the, co the, the connecting across the sea routes and the sea lanes I think is another area where there could be uh, d discussion. The other area is, a third area is innovation. Uh, India is doing a lot of work in the field of innovation both in high science but also in frugal innovation. That's to say innovation for things that people use in everyday life. Uh, you know, cheaper ways of making technology cheaper and more accessible. Now Brazil is doing a lot of high science and research so I think there the two countries, again, because we have similar situations, we have a population who are not so wealthy, but who have needs, who have technological needs. Can we invent and innovate for their needs? And I think the two countries could work together there. I think in the fourth dimension is in the international sphere, whether it's on trade, on climate change, on, on, on all the international governance. India and Brazil are voices uh, from the South, from the former colonial uh, you know, empires who are now big democracies with big economies and they should have a bigger voice in the international sphere. And I think that's another domain where the two countries should be working a lot together. I think there are already a lot of international companies working in India in the IT industry and in, in, in software in Bangalore, all the big uh, international companies, Microsoft, uh, HP, etc., have important research labs in India, in Bangalore, in Hyderabad, in Chennai, Pune, uh, where they're doing research. So I think India is very open to international companies, international groups coming to work in India. So if Brazilians, if Brazilian companies wanted to develop uh, IT work or software in India, I think that would be something that, that would be very welcome in India. So, and I think likewise, you know, Indian uh, IT people are working all over the world, uh, in Europe, in America, of course, uh, I believe, I think even in, in, in Latin America and in Brazil probably. So that's a, a, an area that there's still a lot more to do. I mean, you know, that at a time when the other economies, the developed economies, are going to go through a long, difficult period. I mean, Europe is not going to get out of the mess quickly. Even the United States has a difficult time ahead. I think basically India and Brazil and economies like ours, where it's going to be more difficult for us, but still we have the basic dynamism to keep keep us going. So I think if we can address the problems that we face, the, the economic and fiscal problems, but also the environmental, the innovation, the human capital problems, I think there's a lot of uh, uh, reasons to be optimistic about where Brazil and India can be in 10 or 15 years time. And I think one of the things that's going to be important is for countries like India and Brazil to cooperate more, to trade with each other more, to discuss international policy issues more with one another.